Now then, welcome to another video. So today I thought I'd show you my Raven Guard. Um, so this is what I've painted so far from the box set uh, with a couple of additions and bits and pieces I've added myself. Um, the Raven Guard, uh, the 19th Legion. So these guys are supposed to be like the, the special ops kind of sneaky guys. Um, creep around in darkness and uh, do outflanking maneuvers and all that kind of stuff and just appear in people's uh, rear lines and cause havoc that's that kind of thing um so the kind of infiltration scouting specialists um quite a challenge to paint to be honest the um the raven guard obviously just the black armor and uh black's always a difficult color to paint um without it just looking either gray or just really really boring so um i've tried to highlight them as much as I can but still have them read as black if that makes sense rather than looking at a, a bunch of grey marines and trying to say they're black anyway so what have I done so I've done two tactical squads uh, first squad there second squad there 15 marines in each um, I'll just show you a couple here okay so there's one that's the uh, Nuncio Vox guy so this is the uh, radio operator basically um, what I went for was like the turquoise eye lenses and uh, the little lenses and all his equipment and things. Um, been a bit of delay getting these painted because I pre-ordered the, the box set when it was first um, announced and released by Games Workshop earlier this year. Wants to focus, um, and I got it. And I built built these couple of squads. Um, started undercoating them and things like that, and then I just could not get hold of the transfers. Um, so I've waited up until about a week ago, finally got some transfers and then I've cracked on and painted all these. Um, so chances are if I'd have managed to get my hands on the transfers a little bit sooner, it's going out of focus doesn't it? Um, I'll probably have this whole army done by now. So yeah, bit of a nightmare. This is the sergeant. Hopefully it, it still does read as being black. Um, Quite hard to see the highlights on it actually through the camera. Just gonna focus the spine. Um, yeah. But with the uh, with the white transfers and things on there, it, uh, it does kind of brighten them up and give them a little bit more interest. I think. Yeah. So these are all the Mark Six Marines, the new ones. Um, so that's that first squad, and the second squad is pretty much the same. I did the the sergeant on these guys these guys as a veteran sergeant. Um, this second squad actually still needs a matte varnish. He's a little bit shiny still. Um, but yeah, so a veteran sergeant, he has a light beak as such. Um, slightly different um, chapter insignia on the oh, on the second squad. So these have got the, just like, a, it's a white outline, the chapter badge. There's the, the first squad. I've got a solid chapter badge so I can tell them apart and that symbol on their shins there that's the tactical marking the Raven Guard so that's those guys did a couple of little conversions as well so on this uh, Vexilla Bearer they're called um, I uh, had a, a jetpack I had this Raven Guard symbol on top so I chopped it all to pieces to get this off shaved it all down and stuck it to the top there um, and also attached to that jetpack there was the second Vexilla, some feathers, which I've uh, put onto this Vexilla here, the second squad. Uh, that jetpack originally belonged to this guy, so this is a 40k model, um, he's one of the Death Watch guys. Um, what I've done is I've obviously taken his jetpack off, chopped it up and used it for the things, and then I've got a hold of some 3D prints of these jetpacks which are a little bit more in keeping with the Raven Guard I think. Yeah so that's my Legion Praetor or Captain. Um, my force, pretty cool. Quite like him, he's turned out alright. The bases, um, all those markings and things you see on the bases, there's even a head there. Just about to see it. Um, that's a 
I used a roller from Green Stuff World um, and just used some billy putt uh, <clears throat> and then let it dry, smashed it all up to make it look like ruins. So yeah, that's that's the four so far. Um, so what's next? So next up then, we've got a tactical support squad. Um, what I thought I'd do is, because there's not much anti-armor capability in, in my army, the way I've kind of designed the list for them, um, I gave them all melter guns. Quite short range, but pretty good tank busters. So, got a sergeant there. Um, gave him a melter gun as well. Uh, yeah. So they've, they've come out okay, building them. Um, they are a bit fiddly to build these little, you know, getting their arms right. Um, you've got to be quick, i found, that when you put the two arms on, while the glue's still wet, you get the gun in place, and then you, well, you can still manipulate the arms a little bit before it sets, because um, you use the plastic glue, and that, um, obviously, it, it melts the plastic together, doesn't it? So you've got to be pretty quick getting it on. But, um, yeah, I think they'll be pretty cool. I've run out of Raven Guard bits for this Vexilla, so he's just going to have a standard one. Yeah, but that's fine. So, yeah, there's the uh, the next squad uh, in line to be painted. Uh, but I've also managed to acquire a squad of Terminators. So these are the Tartarus Terminators, so they're a bit quicker. Um, and they just, I just think they look really cool, Tartarus Terminators. Um, uh, there we go. So, got those to put together yet. But I'm going to get this squad painted first, um, and then I'll tackle the Terminator squad. Um, what I've also got is from the original box set, the Age of Darkness box set, I've still got my Contempt to Dreadnought. Um, I've got a magnet set for this as well, so I'm going to magnetize all the weapons. Um, which is so, yeah, fun and games, sticking all that together. I'm not really a model maker, to be honest. I find it a little bit tedious, but... Um, I do enjoy painting them. Yeah, so that's that's my Raven Guard so far. Um, I'll show you a, a few other little bits and pieces I've picked up. So, off Etsy, I found some Lightning Claw arms. Um, so they're going to be part of a, an Assault Squad, a Dark Fury Squad, which I'm going to build. Um, I'd love to get the, um, the Forge World models, but at 50 quid, for five models, it's, um, yeah, well, it is what it is, isn't it? And there's no chance uh, on God's green earth I'm paying that much for five models, so I'm going to make my own. So I've got some lightning claws there, and I've got tons more of these uh, jetpacks, which have been 3D printed. Um, I've got about 25 of them all together, so plenty of scope there for building my own stuff. Um, yeah. So that's, that's the army so far. Um, the only other things I'm going to add, so there'll be the Tactical Support Squad, Terminators, the Dark Furies, and then I think I might make a Command Squad to go with him, um, just so I can use the, um, the transfer sheets. Um, so you've got these banners, these transfer banners. Uh, use one of those. Um, and this is the transfer sheet. It's I've been waiting for for ages. They're pretty cool. Very pricey though for a transfer sheet, but well, yeah, it is what it is. And if you're into it, I suppose you need it, don't you? But I won't be buying any more of them, I'll tell you that. Um, yeah, there we are. So that's my Raven Guard so far. Um, I've always liked the Horus Heresy. Um, though I'm pretty much a historical gamer, to, to be honest. I do. Doing the Horus Heresy it almost feels like um, historical gaming or collecting, at least, because you've got all the uniform guides and things. It's almost like painting a historical army and you try and get it right. And uh, if you think that Napoleonic button counters are bad, wait until you uh, come across a, a Horus Heresy button counter. Please. Right, so I, I do try to get it right as best I can. So. Horus Heresy started for me back in 1990 with this. So this is the first edition of um, Epic Space Marine that came out along just after the original Adeptus Titanicus came out. I've had this book for years and years, and this was set in the Horus Heresy, and it was um, 
yeah, the advanced game. As far as I remember, even the basic game was a bit of an advanced game. But yeah, so I played that, and then later on, I think 94-ish or something like that, the second edition of Space Marine came out, and that started introducing, that was more of a 40k epic from then. Um, and then I will say I have the, um, all the pages have fallen out of it now, but the old Adeptus Titanicus, sorry, Codex Titanicus, which had like loads of um, expansions for, for Epic and things like that in it, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, I've been interested in Heresy for, for a long, long time. Um, I thought I'd, I'd jump in and, uh, and do myself a force. And I thought I'd try and challenge myself. So, painting black, as I said quite a difficult colour to get right. It was either going to be the Raven Guard or the White Scars, because painting white is probably even harder, I would say, than painting black. Um, but I wanted to challenge myself. And the best way to learn how to paint black is just to paint lots of black. So there we go. Um, update soon. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.